We want to thank our leaders, Al Sharpton and uh, Dr. King, for allowing us to be here today. We are here today to demand that America holds up to the rhetoric of her words that says she is the land of the free, home of the brave. We are here today to demand that America cleans her filthy garments, stained by the hatred of racism, the love of money, and the lack of concern for the least, the lost, and the left out. We are here today at this historical moment deeply disturbed by the overwhelming troubling dynamics that have converged on God's people in a devastating storm of spiritual, political, and cultural chaos. To some, this storm seemed to appear suddenly with the emergence of former President Donald Trump's administration through the torrent of lies, perverted public policy, intentional innuendos, and a bully pulpit. But I'm here today to tell you that this chaotic storm is not a flash flood. As the descendants of slaves, we have lived in America's chaotic storm since we boarded ships from a port that we would never see again. And every time we come to a place of progress, we run into a downpour, lightning storm, and thunder of white rage whose job is to push our progress back. Yes, it is white rage that we see today that wants to control our voting. Every time the descendants of slaves make strides to being free from the chains of white supremacy, white rage is poured onto our community that it decays our even existence. Yes, it is a fight to maintain not only the upper hand, but total dominance, meanwhile hiding a false moral ground. It is the right-wing Republican politician who calls for a country of morals and values, while all the time involved in child sex prostitution. It is the evangelical preacher who stands firmly against abortions, while not standing for the least, the lost, and the left out. It is white rage that beats the descendants of slavery down, while at the same time shifts the blame on them for being beaten down. The abuser blames the abuse for having PTSS, post-traumatic slavery syndrome. We are here today because we have seen this devil before, and we know what to do. We march, yeah. we preach, yeah. we stand. Yeah. We are the true representation of the living God. Yeah. We march in the courage of Harriet Tubman, yeah. who treaded through the path with death on her trail. We march in the spirit of Fannie Lou Hamer, yeah. who said, I'm tired of being tired. Yeah. We march in the spirit of a black man named Jesus who died on a Friday and got up on a Sunday. And we march in the spirit of Stokely Carmichael who said all the scared Negroes were left at home. 